Hi there parents, I just wanted to come to you today and talk about how you can support your child at home right now with adding and subtracting. So suppose we wanted to add something like 24 plus 20, or sorry, 22 plus 24. So sometimes uh, if you're unaware of how your child is learning in school, you might think that the only way to solve this would be to set it up something like this and add the right side first to make six and then add the left side to make four to get an answer of 46. But I just wanted to talk to you about how you can help your child explore numbers at home and build them out of things that you have around your house in order to better understand um, how to solve something like this. So in classrooms, teachers use something called base 10 blocks and your child is probably familiar with these. So they're widely used in classrooms all over the world. So base 10 blocks are a visual representation of numbers. So these little ones, they represent one. These represent 10. You can see that they're made up of 10 ones. And then these ones represent 100. You can see that it's made up of 100 ones or 10 tens. So you probably don't have a set of base 10 blocks kicking around your house, I understand that. So I made up a DIY option for you and you should be able to make this with things that are already around your house. I used some paper drinking straws and what I did was I cut them into longer pieces to represent 10 and then I just cut them into little pieces to represent one and I just took a piece of cardstock paper and drew some lines on there to make a 100 block. So this is something that you can do with household items in order to make your very own set of base 10 blocks. Now I'm going to show you how you might use these. So if you are solving 22 plus 24, if you have a child who's in grade one or two or even upper grades can benefit from activities like this, first of all, you could ask them to build the numbers. So to build 22, <clears throat> we need two tens and two ones. To build 24, we need two tens to build to make 20, and then four ones to make four. Now to find the sum, so to find the total, we can first of all add up the tens because that's easiest to go 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we group the ones together and add the ones. So we have 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So the answer is 46. So base tens, I highly recommend, if you're interested in doing this at home with your kids, that you do, and I promise your child's teacher will thank you for it. Um, just a very quick reason why we do this. Why do we do this with, with um, concrete materials before we move to just writing numbers down? So we know that kids, as they learn math, they go through three stages and those are the concrete stage, the representational stage, and then the abstract stage. So abstract refers to writing something like that. This is abstract. If kids don't have a good understanding of numbers, this will not be easily comprehensible because it is too abstract to understand. Representational refers to drawing. So, um, they could draw a representation of the base 10 blocks. So if you have 22 plus 24, they might represent that like this, 22 and then 24. And then they can count those up, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Concrete is the stage where we are actually working with our hands and manipulating objects and able to easily use them to visualize what the numbers mean. So base 10 blocks are amazing for the concrete phase of math. So that was just a little explanation of why we do this. You will find that a lot of practice with base 10s means that when you get to the stage of abstract, where you're expecting your child to just add, um, this is going to help because they're going to be able to more easily make those connections in their mind. So let's look at how we might use base tens for a question that's a little bit, a little bit harder. Let's do 24 
plus 27. So in this case, we are going to have two tens and four ones for 24, and then two tens and seven ones for 27. So now what we find, so we're going to group our tens and we'll group our ones. So here we have 10, 20, 30, 40. We have 40 or four tens. But what happens to our ones? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11. So what we can do in this case is we can make a trade. We can take 10 of those ones and trade them in for a 10. And this is a concrete representation of something that we call regrouping, or you might refer to it as carrying when you line up your numbers and add. So this is just a visual representation so that, so that they understand what's actually happening when they regroup. So here we see that our answer is 51. Now, if we use this for subtraction, base tens are amazing for subtraction. So if we want to do 15, subtract four. We are going to start with 15, and then we simply take away four, and we count what's left, there's 11. Now what happens when we throw regrouping into the mix, which um, you might refer to as carrying? Um, suppose that we are going to do 22, subtract five. So here we'll start with 22, like that. Now we wanna subtract five, but what happens here? We don't have five ones to take away. So we are going to have to trade in this 10 for 10 ones. So here I have my 10 ones. So I'll just make a trade. So we still have the same number. It's just broken up a little bit differently, right? Now we have one 10 and 12 ones, which still makes 22. And now we can take away five. And we are left with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is one way to use base tens at home. Again, use that DIY option if you have drinking straws or anything else that would work for that matter around the house. As long as your child has made the connection that this means 10 and this means one, because it won't be quite as visual as it is with the base tens where you can see the 10 individual blocks, but it'll still work as long as your child understands what it represents. I hope this helps you uh, to get started with this concept at home. And I'm going to be making more videos, more student videos with some base 10 activities, but you could definitely get started with this at home just by simply creating the uh, base 10 blocks and then just doing some simple addition or subtraction activities with your child. So I hope this helps and make sure to keep an eye out for more videos coming very shortly. Thanks so much.